Now it's time to uh, test our configuration files, uh, see if everything is working or not. And let me give you an example if it's not working, okay? So I have my um, configuration file here. Now I'm just going to mess with it. And I'm not going to follow the rules or something. Or maybe, you know, you put a space here. That will actually mess it up, really. Uh, as simple as that, it will do it. So let's here bust out our terminal. And there's two ways to check this, but basically all you gotta do is type in um, flex git dash dash test or check, and you'll see you get an error because your configuration files uh, is not you know right. So you gotta fix it. And let's say we fix it back to normal. Let's see, let's save it now. And let's run the same command. Let's see here, clear first. So flex uh, git uh, dash dash test. All right now, this time I'll do like a simulation. It doesn't actually write anything, but this is how it actually looks like. So let me uh, run this sucker. And you'll see this is how it will look like. So basically, it'll tell you um, what it will do. So this one, it'll download these. You see? And this one it'll just skip because uh, I already downloaded those before. Uh, so that's um, how you would test that. Another way to do this is um, flex git dash dash check, right? And I'll just check it. And based on those names, remember the names that we assigned it to, like castle, favorite shows, and all that. It'll say password or not, or they give you an error or something. Then you have to go back and fix your configuration file because you did something wrong. Okay. Now with this program, uh, 1.0 release, uh, you have to do this step also. What up? And you can just type in, you know, just flex git uh, when you first run it, because this will, will run the uh, program. However, you have to do a initialate uh, the the database, and to do that, you have to go flex git dash dash. Uh, let me see here. I N I T D B. And this will create uh, the database. Uh, and basically, the database is, you know, it'll track or it'll, uh, it'll like remember which one you download so it doesn't have to re download it again. So I think it's using like SQL or something. But basically, you have to run that one time. You have to run this one time. The first time that you want to use FlexGit. And you won't ever have to run it again. But uh, you have to do that. And all it does is basically. Um, Creates these files in here in your uh, flex git folder. This shit, um, this one, and this one. And it just it tracks you know whatever you download, so it, you don't have to download it again. And then you can actually use um, just flex git now, and it'll run the program. It's not a simulation. This is how you would run it manually if you type in flex git and just run it, and it'll download this. And the, what the download goes is. Uh, it should go into your your download folder once it's done. You see, it grabs the the flash forward uh, torrents and it downloads those. Uh, it might take a while if you have a lot of feeds, but not. Um, so let's wait till it's done. And you see how that's how it works if you do it manually. But we want to do it automatically, and um, that's where we'll set up uh, our torrent client and our cron tab to do that automatically for us. But basically, it'll you know go to the folder that you assigned it to, and it did exactly what we wanted to. All right. So that's that, and uh, continue on to a step, the next step uh, after this.